the travel industry has been hit hard by COVID-19 and there will continue to be tremendous uncertainty moving forward. But one bright spot is that recent booking data shows that it, there's an increase in travel beginning to bounce back. So what are the new trends that will shape travel in the weeks and months to come? Chris Lehane is the VP for the Global Public Policy and Communications at Airbnb, and he is joining us to break it all down for us. Good morning, Chris. Thank you for having me. Uh, good to be talking to the Rose City. Is, um, Portland is my younger son Quincy's favorite city in the United States. Um, so he, was excited <laughs> he has to good taste. Yeah. <laughs> because okay. we've been there for AAU basketball tournaments every spring. Oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> well, then hopefully yeah. maybe you'll be traveling to Portland soon, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I cannot believe me. I cannot wait until we can come up to Portland. <laughs> yeah, totally and true. I know you guys have been through a lot, and it's great to see Portland staying strong. So thank you for everyone who's been out there. Yeah. Well, Chris, how has COVID-19 forever transformed the travel industry? We're really curious to know. Yeah, well, first and foremost, travel is inherent to being a human. It's innate to being a human, um, and that really hasn't changed because of COVID. But the way people are traveling certainly has gone through a really significant change. Ultimately, people want to have um, our prioritized control uh, over their travel experience, um, particularly from obviously and understandably a health and safety perspective. And so that's really reflected in two really distinct ways. Um, almost all the travel is now taking place in a really local, hype, even hyper local way. Um, typical guest is traveling within 300 miles of where they live on a tank of gas. Um, uh, you could put it that way, it's a tank of gas. And then secondly, um, they're really looking to control um, their accommodation where they're staying. And not because we've done anything particularly good, it's really our hosts, um, you know, they offer whole homes, multiple bedrooms, um, sometimes your own pool, uh, no common spaces, your own kitchen. And so that helps you have really control over your travel experience. So what you're really getting right now is, is these old school, I can say this as an older guy, type of vacations where people are getting the family in the car, throwing the dog in, throwing the kids in, maybe going and staying with cousins or grandparents, you know, at a rental that they've been able to drive to. You know, in Oregon, we've just seen, you know, an incredible amount of activity, you know, on, on the coast, a 50% increase uh, from, from last year um, over the month of June. And, um, you know, four and a half million dollars have gone to those local hosts um, on the Oregon coast. Um, and I think that really does speak to how travel has changed. Look, there's nothing good about COVID to the extent that you're looking for some silver linings. You know, maybe it's this idea that People are really spending time in their local community, spending money on, on locals and really experiencing, in this case, Oregon, probably in a way that they may not have in the past. Yeah, well, I mean, unfortunately, we live in a, in a place where there are so many amazing spots to check out that are nearby. So that's that's good for us. Um, now, what does your data reveal about just, you know, moving forward? Do you guys can do you think this will continue to be the trend in the years to come with travel? Or do you think this is a short term thing? Well, I certainly think that, you know, if and when, I think it's only a question of when, you know, we have a, a vaccine, um, that you'll start to get a little bit more of that international cross-border travel uh, coming back. But I do think that COVID has accelerated um, this trend of people uh, looking um, more for a local, authentic, unique type of a stay. You know, going to a great home in the Willamette Valley is just something that's really special. Um, and so I think as people do these types of trips uh, and realize that it's really just fundamentally different than a mass travel experience that they are going to be increasingly looking for. I still think health and safety is going to be more important um, than ever and is going to continue to be important. And so I think the types of activities that are offered on an Airbnb where you can really have those local, hyper local, really authentic, stay in a cool home, stay in a cool neighborhood um, is going to be even more so uh, as, as we go forward. Hopefully people will be able to do it not just within their communities, but be able to travel the world. Um, but I do think some of these things are going to be here to stay. And obviously, you know, as people have now been working from home, I think you're also going to get a component. And I say this with a recognition that's for the privileged um, people who may want to go work from home um, in different places, um, you know, around the world um, so they can experience different communities, but still be able to work from where they are. So I think that will also be a trend that we'll get on the other side of this. And real quickly, can you also just go across the uh, safety measures that are being put in place for people who are considering traveling? Yeah, back in March and April, you know, as it became clear, the magnitude of what we were dealing with, 
Um, we consulted with Dr. Vivek Murthy, who's the former Surgeon General of the United States. He made clear right from the beginning that whole homes were really going to be a, a preferable option for travelers. Just inherently, they would get that it would be safer. That certainly played itself out. But we also wanted to put in place some what we called enhanced cleaning protocols to give our hosts and guests really guidance on, on how they can really um, engage in this activity in a safe and responsible way. And, you know, really in the short form, you know, those protocols include making sure that people are using the right equipment when they clean, making sure they're using the right cleaning products so that you're not just cleaning, but sanitizing. Um, and then also looking to really have a time period between when the last person is in the home cleaning it and when that guest checks in, um, we recommend a 24 hour period uh, between the, when the last person is in and the guest is coming. Um, uh, you know, the, the longer the time period is, the safer the place is going to be in terms of dealing with issues that could be there. Um, and, and then ultimately, the way Airbnb works is hosts and guests rate each other. And so the platform is actually really designed to incentivize hosts to treat guests like their extended family members and those guests to really treat the homes like they're their own homes and certainly the communities like they're the communities where they want to belong, so behaving responsibly. These are all things that we encourage through the platform. Um, we're learning in real time like everyone else and trying to put those learnings back into the platform. All right, some interesting insight there, Chris. And of course, if people are considering traveling anytime soon, uh, they can check out Airbnb's website. We're going to put a link to that on coin.com. Have a great morning and, and hope to see you in the Rose City soon. Cannot wait till we're back up there playing some hoops in the Rose City and enjoying the great food and some of the peanuts up there for myself. So thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.